It, it looked very much like a semi-automatic weapon. Jeff Flowers and his wife Bridget spent Sunday and Monday morning trying to comfort their 15-year-old daughter. My daughter is still traumatized about this. She's still asking, have they caught the young man? Uh, do they have any idea what his intentions were? Um, so she's, her sense of security has been shattered because of this. Shattered because as the Franklin resident was dropping his wife off at the First Baptist Church Murfreesboro for her sorority's National Day of Prayer, that's when he noticed a young man riding a bike with a black gun. He matched his speed to the same as ours, and when I looked over, he pulled a gun out of his pocket and kind of looked over at me. Uh, so he got ahead of us, he got lost into the crowd, and so we were kind of concerned as far as what may happen. Church goers had spilled out into the street, some leaving, others arriving for the next service. After letting his wife out, Flowers saw the same young man again a few blocks up East Castle Street. And then he uh, pulled the gun out and then he kind of pumped his arm up a couple times with the gun. And that's when we immediately got concerned and called the police. Eventually, police would locate the person on the bike. It turns out it was a 12 year old with a toy gun. No charges were filed against him and he was released to the custody of his grandmother. That still doesn't ease the fear for everyone who thought the gun was real. It's troublesome in the fact that this young man could have lost his life over um, a toy gun. Had I been armed, I would have had to make a decision. Do I take him out or do I see what his, his intentions would be towards me and my family? Had I been armed, I would have chose my family. Flowers says this should serve as a teachable moment for parents and their children. In this current climate, you don't do something like that. A young Caucasian boy going towards a crowded African-American church, we've seen this story before, and these stories don't have happy endings, unfortunately. Larry Flowers, News 2.